Today we're checking out Bellatro. This is a poker-themed roguelike deck builder. Basically, think of this game like scuffed poker, sort of like an illegal energy where you can get rid of all of one suit of card from your deck and replace everything with an ace. There is quite a lot of cheesy stuff that you can do in this game, especially when combined with all of the jokers and trinkets you add into the decks. I've already won with the red deck, which gives you more discards per round. Uh, and the blue deck, which gives you one more hand every round. I think today we'll be playing with the yellow deck, which starts us off with an extra $10. We do have sort of a banking system going on here. Uh, there are several other crazy decks you can unlock, but let's just keep it kind of simple for now. The hand holding at the start. I will be playing on the base difficulty, but there are other ascensions you can unlock. Um, so you start off normally with, like, 52 cards in your deck. Uh, but, again, we can get rid of all of these and replace them with crazy stuff. Uh, we will go into our scoring. Okay, so scoring is basically determined by rarity. You know, if you get like a straight flush, that is a very rare thing to find, or a royal flush, for example. Uh, those are scored very highly, but, you know, high card or pair or two pairs are a little more common, so those aren't really worth as many points. You can get other kinds of trinkets and things like that. You have boss fights that go on as in any other roguelike we have $14 to start, which is going to start to collect interest from the beginning, so we'll just do that. Uh, what else is there to say? Let's just get right into it, uh, and probably end up forcing flushes in our run, but we've got hearts and clubs, which are looking pretty promising. We can discard up to five, so I think I'm just going to gear this all toward... Let's do... Actually, clubs are looking kind of promising right here. Let's keep our clubs and discard everything else. Maybe get a f club's flush. Actually, we already have a club's flush. I'll just take that. You know, a bird in the hand, man. Now, there is an advantage to winning with one hand, but I've got a good thing here right in front of me, so I'll take it. The first couple hands are a little more luck-based. And then after that, when you start to get more trinkets, you can kind of do some crazy stuff. Um, but here we go. We've got two queens in this hand. I think this is automatically just going to win us the round. So we have a pair, base 10 chips, times 2 multiplier. We'll score more from the queens, 10 each. So that's going to bring us up to 60, so that brings us over the required score. So we won in two hands, not too bad, not too shabby. We make a little bit of extra money for the remaining hands we didn't have to use, and a little bit more for the interest. Uh, score at least 300, worth $3. Yeah. All right, so other stuff that's going on. Ooh, Telescope is a great voucher to get early on in the game. So this is going to upgrade our Celestial Packs. If we... Like, the game will count up how many times we've used each hand type. And we will start to become very reliant upon one. In this case, Flushes, because I do like getting rid of one suit of cards. So I will redeem that. Okay, the Telescope has been redeemed. I could use this Jumbo Celestial Pack... We won't even have to use Jumbo Celestial Packs, though, if we do this. Um, I generally tend not to wait till the final hand of the round, so I think we'll just play that as is. Let's just go straight to the next round. We should be able to do this. We could also skip for a Mega Arcana Pack. Two tarot cards. Uh, but we won't get to receive the interest from our gold. Or, you know, our dollars. Here we go. So we could... Oh, we're really close to a royal flush already in our first hand. Four, five, six, seven. We have a lot of good stuff in this first hand. I think I'll just play this flush, though, because it's right there in front of me. Why not? All right. I'm playing suboptimally in order to maintain my odds of staying in the game. All right. I think I could get a hearts flush here, too, before we've eliminated everything from our deck. All right. Nice. So within two hands, we won. Still decent. 73 times 4. Okay, that is that is plenty of chips. We can win this run now. Amazing. All right, two remaining hands. Two interests, so one per five. Four of a kind, not really what I was looking for. A uh, pair, tarot cards. Oh, we didn't get a celestial pack. Okay, I will go for this mega arcana pack, just so that we can start to rig our deck. So, what does a mega arcana pack do? Um, we can convert everything into hearts. So one strategy here we could use would be to take all of, like, our diamonds and clubs. Uh, our, our diamonds change to hearts. <laughs> um, this is going to get really scuffed really fast. We could also repeat whatever card we use. We could just make, like, everything into hearts. Um, two random planet cards. 
or we create a steel card. I think let's just make everything into hearts. So we will get rid of all of these diamonds and let's get rid of these, <laughs> let's get rid of the spades. Uh, let's just get rid of everything and replace it all with hearts. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, so that is all hearts and then we will repeat the last card. So we'll use these, uh, actually, here we go. We will use this one. So this might just repeat the card. Okay, so then we'll, D draw our other cards. So what do we have now? Uh, 16 hearts, and we're running out of diamonds, and we have slightly more clubs than spades, and we're just missing some of those cards from our deck. Where is it? So we have two tens of hearts, two queens of hearts, and this is just getting to be very cursed already. This is like uh, Shotgun King. <laughs> I actually hadn't really drawn that comparison yet, but yeah, I guess that is, that is there. All right, so we'll take all of these. Let's just artificially improve our hand now take all of this I would like to change my diamonds I want to have two suits so that I have a backup plan diamonds and what were we changing we'll change our spades also into hearts so we'll stick with clubs and hearts this run one two three four five and we already have oh would you look at that we have a flush <laughs> amazing <laughs> uh, that gives us 340 so we should be fine this round and we have another flush. Here it is. Okay. Don't uh, don't worry. It doesn't get quite this cheesy. The whole game. It will get more difficult, but it kind of ebbs and flows in difficulty as we go. But that is quite fun. So now our anti raises. We've beaten the first boss fight. We were discarding cards after each hand played, which is a little annoying. All right, and we didn't get a planet pack again. Oh no, that is kind of annoying. Playing. Cr I don't like this voucher, so I'm just gonna skip on this. The Spectral Pack is very good, though. I will probably use that. Um, and we can get Molt cards. So now look how many hearts we have. Two aces of hearts. No longer have a spade. Yeah, we're starting to run out of spades. But I would like to stick with two suits because some boss fights disable one suit of cards, which if you pick just one can be very debilitating. I don't want to pass up this Spectral Pack, though. Just try one random card in your hand. Add enhanced cards. Add foil, holographic, or polygram effect to one selected card in hand. Ooh, that is really useful. Uh, I guess it randomly does it. I don't have any jokers yet. I haven't unlocked any jokers or add a blue seal. Um, I think this Avra is going to be the most useful. Let's give this to our King of Hearts because this is a card we will probably use pretty frequently. And we got holographic. So what does that do? I think that raises the multiplier. Yeah, plus 10 on the multiplier. Pretty good polychrome is a little bit better, but for now, not a bad start. Uh, 14 left. Let's go, let's try to make our deck strong right away. 100 chips minus five chips for every hand played. Nah, eh, that is okay. Let's just keep using these tarot cards. I wanna show you how weird we can make the deck. Uh, increases the rank of cards. This is gonna be useful if you're trying to make everything into an ace, but we're trying to play suits right here. Okay, we could make even more hearts. Let's do this with all of our diamonds then. Uh, yeah, I will just make all of these. Oh no, actually we're going to just repeat this. Never mind. We'll try to use that at our first opportunity though. Next round. Uh, I guess we haven't really cut cards from the deck yet, but that can happen. We also haven't gotten any jokers. Um, surprisingly no hearts in this hand. Until we make them artificially. <laughs> uh, but we did say we wanted to keep clubs in our hand, too. I think we will just discard all of these to hope for hearts. Because that was an unlikely hand. Yeah, give me some hearts, man. Okay, here we go. Heart, 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 heart. We need one more, so let's just make this ace of diamonds into a heart. The three of diamonds will become a heart. You know what? Let's just make everything at the hearts a little <laughs> We'll flush out the clubs later on, but I think we'll be so dependent on hearts in this run. Uh, I want to show you how bizarre this game can get. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Play hand. All hearts. Would you look at that? I just magically have hearts all the time. Um, Get rid of anything that is diamonds or spades. I'm actually kind of close to getting a clubs flush right here. So let's stick with these clubs. 
probably get one more in this next hand. And what do you know? Tons of clubs. Five, oh, whoops, those were actually spades. Play hand. Still good. Now we want to upgrade this flush, which we'll need a, a planet pack to do. What do we have of everything else left? Mostly hearts, so we can be pretty sure that if we discard these, we will get some hearts in there. One, two, three, four, five. Play that hand. Well, we're going to need to level up these combos, which is why we're going to need money. It's going to get very expensive to play poker as we go. Scored at least 800. Didn't have as many hands remaining, but we did get the interest. Okay, finally, hopefully, is this a decent... So we still haven't found any decent jokers. That's not good. Uh, we do need the jokers tarot cards. Two of five tarot cards. Or... You know, let's just change all of the diamonds into hearts. Buy and use. Oh, we could use it immediately. Oops, nope, we can't. I lied. Uh, okay, I will take another Mega Arcana pack. Just to further rig my deck. We could uh, give the totals. I don't have any jokers yet. Two selected cards to bonus cards. Increase the rank. Wild card. Wild cards are quite useful. Or, you know, another way to do it is to just destroy those cards from the deck. Let's completely get rid of diamonds from this deck. Alright. And then convert something else into a wild card. Well, this jack would be nice to use as something else. So let's convert that into a wild card. Good. Okay, and then we still have the sun to make yet more seven cards. We have practically no diamonds left, almost everything hearts. And then a good number of clubs. Not bad. We have five dollars left. We haven't really been using four of a kinds. Okay, I guess we have to keep on waiting for jokers. Which is too bad, because the jokers are very good. Um, I will make this... Mm, no, actually, let's just discard. It would be very useful to have this as a heart. <laughs> just make my entire deck. You know what? Let's just do this. Everything is going to be a heart now. <laughs> I'll just make the whole deck into hearts. Yeah, this is what we're we're just going here, and we'll we'll get hurt later on. But I just want to see what this does. <laughs> Play game. Okay, there we go. Play hand. Eighty-three, four, three, thirty-two. We're going to need to level up these flushes, though, if we want to survive. Keep getting rid of all of this. Junk. Good. All hearts again. Three, four, five. Play that hand. Give me another flush. 56, 66, 73, 78 times four. Mm, we still need more, though. But we still have mostly just hearts left in the deck. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of all of this. We do have two pair, but two pair isn't really that valuable. Come on, hearts, man. One, two, three, four, five. Play that hand. We'll probably get some clubs for our last hand. We've just taken away all of the statistical, you know, like, guesswork out of this. One, two, three, four. Do we have enough hearts left? We do have six hearts left still. These are quite high hearts cards. One, two, three, four, five. And just barely enough for one more flush. We really need to level up this planet bonus. 308. Okay, we just barely got by on this one. Now we need a celestial pack. Otherwise, we will die. We will die. And we didn't get a celestial pack. Is any bow? Uh, okay, we don't have this. This is not good. Okay, please give me a decent joker. I need this to survive. I uh, played aces, give plus 20 chips. Okay, this might keep us alive. Flight hand has exactly four cards. Uh, we aren't really using that because we're using flushes. We are taking cards out of the deck, so erosion might be useful. Played aces. Get, this is also a holographic card. So, um... Basically, you could have a normal card or it could be holographic polychromer foil. Holographic gives plus ten mult. I'm going to take this because we do have quite a lot of aces in our deck still. And that is useful. Uh, earn two dollars per discard if no discards are used by the end of the round. Oh, we don't really want that because we are relying on our discards. Okay, I would like to see what other playing cards are available. I need more hearts. And I didn't get what I was looking for. Unfortunately, I have to skip this. Okay. Sad, all cards, all face cards are drawn face down. Well, what do we even have in terms of face cards? If it's a face card, it's most likely a heart. Again. Uh... I think we can discard these. 
but I'm afraid to chance it with some of those hearts, man. And I just need aces for the molt, right? So let's discard these. One, two. Ooh, we could get the pair of aces, but if we get the ace in a flush, that's worth more. All right, let's see what we get from this hand. 11, 24 molt, that is quite a lot of points. 94 times 18, that's enough to pass the round in one. See, like, if you get a decent joker, it totally carries you for the rest of the game. And the holographic just gives us plus 10 molt all the time, which is great. Planets and uh, the consumable I give... Uh, uh, this is useful, but we don't have enough money for it. Okay, we're saved. Uh, finally, I can use the voucher that I bought early on. I was hoping I would get telescope used more often here, but whatever. Okay, two planets to be used immediately. So if we do Jupiter, and then what else do we have? I think Earth is for full house. Is it? Yeah, Earth is for full house. Three of a kind, straight, two pair. I will take the Earth for full house. So at least we got a little bit more of a multiplier on our most frequently used hand type here. All right, we'll see if we can keep up with the game here. One, two, three, four. I need different cards. Uh, I need to rig this deck even more. Okay, here we go. All right, nice. Now we get a foil on this one. Five. Yep, I'll play that flush. Ten molt on that because of his holographic. And then another ten molt on that because of more holographic. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So, yeah, now I've gotten to the point where I'm just basically forcing flushes every hand. This is more or less what I've wanted. But we need to power this thing up with more copies of Jupiter. So we need more of those celestial packs. So now's where we're gonna need money. All right, prevents death if chips scored are at least 25% of required chips, then self-destructs. That is basically a lifeline, but I don't really want to spend money on it either. Joker gains each card's sold resets when boss blind is defeated. Uh, that's a bit annoying. Tarot cards, tarot cards, tarot cards. Seeing as tarot cards have done such a good job at slimming our deck so far, I think must play five cards. This boss is going to be a joke. Um, you know, I could do this, but let's just save some money. And we need the money here. We need the money more than anything else. All right, cool. One, two, three, four. I get a flush instantly on my first hand because this counts as a wild card, don't forget. So we're playing it as a heart right here. Cool, and we get the ace bonus. And then yet another one. Nice. Now, there are some of these jokers that can give you more consumable items or create more jokers, which is kind of what I'm hoping for as I keep drawing jokers, but we haven't gotten any of them yet. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. I'll take that as well. We don't really get anything for a pair here, unfortunately, but... No, there are some crazy things we can discover. One, two, three. Do we have clubs? Yeah, we do have actually uh, clubs. Nice. That's why I tend to keep two suits, because if one boss said, like, hearts are debuffed, we just can't score anything with hearts. You can still get your base score with them, but you don't get it for the cards. Ooh, this is great. Okay, we just lucked out. We got two of, the, like, the best cards in the game. Hiker is fantastic because it just makes all the cards used more powerful as we go, and then Riff Raff creates new jokers, so we're saved, as long as we survive the next couple of rounds. Uh, Riff Raff is going to create more jokers, and the hiker is just awesome. Although we can go through the deck only once. Okay, so this has just automatically created two new jokers for us, which is awesome. Uh, three of a kind plus 100 chips. That's pretty good, man. Am I just going to take that? 30 times 3, what would I get for a flush? Uh, you always kind of have to compare it with that situation. So, ice cream is powerful when we first get it, but it slowly weakens. I think we'll just aim for more flushes again, just because everything else is at level one. We need to level up some more of these hands. Full house could be useful. Could we do a full house right... Oh, actually, we could do a full house right here like this. So, we played that 65 times 6, and we get plus 100 chips. Okay, give me that. Because it counts as a full house, but it also contains three of a kind. Plus, these uh, cards will start to score more, and they are both clubs and hearts. We get rid of one, two, three, four. I think we could get a hearts flush here. Yeah, discard those. I mean, we will definitely get it in the next hand. 
But the question is, should we kind of milk the hiker card for a little while? We won't make as much money, though. Eh, let's just do it normally. So Hiker is going to upgrade all these cards so they earn more and more chips. Hiker is fantastic to get early on in the game because it just adds to the chips. But Multiplier times is going to be super strong as we go. So Cash Out, beat that one too. Uh, and then we can actually sell these. So since I'm relying so heavily on flushes, I can just sell these, make another $2. This is quite good for practically everything we use. We'll sell it in a couple minutes. I'm not too crazy about three of a kind, though. Plus ten molt if it contains a flush. I guess I'll just take it, because that's good. Um, yeah, I mean, we're gonna be using flush, so we might as well do that. I will sell this, because I want to see what else this card generates. It's gonna generate new random or common jokers as we go. But it, it is quite an interesting card. Uh, and then why not? I'll take a Spectral Pack. Because Spectral Packs just tend to be very good. Oh, I got only two cards. Adds negative to a random Joker. Create a copy of a random Joker. Just, oh, I don't like that. Okay, I'll take the rand, uh, negative on a Joker just for more room. Ooh, negative Hiker. That's really good. Since I want to survive in this run, and I'm not going to make any interest anyway, let's just take an Arcana Pack. Let's try to get a Power Spike right here. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, convert things to clubs. Both very useful. Or make a glass card. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to add this to a Joker that hasn't got it already. Riff Raff would be kind of useless for it, too, so this isn't a very good chance. Let's just convert these two into clubs, because I want to try to get rid of spades from my deck next. I will use Moon... Use the moon. There it goes. Use the moon. All right, next round. Oh, what do we have? Oh, God, no. Heart cards are going to be debuffed. So there is a card called Luchador, which takes away the boss buff. But we'll try not to make any more hearts. And we'll rely on clubs, probably, for the next one. But this is bad. Uh, this is very bad. We're going to need to find some way to negotiate this before the end. All right. Okay, so we won't get rid we won't change anything else now. We'll just roll with the punches. This is going to be a very difficult boss. Hopefully, we'll get a luchador. Um, let's go ahead and discard these, but it's not played this round, so we have a little bit of time to plan. All right. I will take that flush. Until we go to the boss, we'll be fine. The other thing too with the boss is if we can get a celestial pack and upgrade our flushes, it will still count the hand is being scored we just won't get any upgrades for those particular cards uh until then we will continue to rely heavily on the heart strategy anyway uh get rid of these three good that we have other options though we do have other options sort of <laughs> this is a terrible joker first played face card gives times two multiple and score okay that's not bad i'm getting great multipliers from our jokers here though I didn't think we would have any jokers, but we suddenly got great jokers through this run. Okay, creates a random joker card, must have room. Since I don't really like this too much, we could buy that. Though the celestial pack will be super useful here. Eventually we'll want to get rid of Riff Raff. Plus 150 uh, tarot cards appear two times more frequently in the shop. I am on the fence on how much I, how much I like this. Because it makes other cards that I also like appear less often, you know? I think we need more money because we need a better Celestial pack. We're going to rely on better hand levels for this. Um, improve my hand level. Although I do like the face card upgrade. Because times two molt is pretty OP. But Riff Raff is also giving us a, like a renewable dollar creation dollar creation what am i saying here okay give me a celestial pack i'll take jupiter and then i get one more as well what is the next most likely thing to use four of a kind straight high card repair i guess we'll do it for high card because sometimes i really get stuck out on a limb and i have to use high card maybe not worth it but you know if i'm so reliant on flushes we'll go to the next round we just won't collect interest this is going to be kind of a tricky one. If the poker hand contains a straight, we earn $5. It's going to keep changing. All right, so if we get a straight, we actually do pretty well right here. We have so many hard cards. 
Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get these traits. I might just have to sell these instantly. Yeah, I'm just going to have to sell them instantly. Oh well, one, two, three, four, five. Or probably be enough for 9,000, right? 8, 112, 114. So yeah, now we're at level 3 with the flesh. And we're getting some serious points here. Mm, just take out everything except for the hearts again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Will you be enough? I want to keep one discard in case if I need it. Oh, I guess I maybe could have gotten closer to a straight there, but whatever. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. And kind of mind goes blank here. I prefer to depend on the Joker strategy. I'm sure you could, like, overthink it, but then we'll be here all day. You know what I mean? Okay, so 9,000 we got, but we had only one hand left. All right, so we got Venus. Uh, adds the number of times the... Ooh, poker planet. Ah, uh, this is very good. So we have been playing nothing but flushes, so we now have 24 multiplier on flushes. I'm never going to be doing this with the straight, so I think I'm just going to sell this. I'll sell this as well. All right. Uh, so now we have that. We're already creating random jokers, so I don't really want this. Tarot cards. I haven't really been looking for them anyway. You know, give me this supernova joker, because just that multiplier is very strong. And the more I play flushes, the more they kind of snowball. We will go to the next round. Take me there, even though that all my heart cards are going to be debuffed. So watch what happens. Every single heart just gets a big X over it. We don't really even have that. We're still going to just play hearts anyway. <laughs> like, this is so kind of counterintuitive for this fight. But if I do this, five. So they're all going to be debuffed. Debuff, 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 but we'll get the base score and we'll get the multipliers for these, which is kind of crazy. Are we going to run into any, like, goofy spades hands? Or, like, a, a club's hand? Probably not. We'll just continue to play the thing it's not telling me to play anyway. Uh, I will discard this as well. Okay, this is fine now. Do I even get... I don't even get the score for my aces. Nine seven five five. Okay, play that and see just what happens here. Sixty-five times eight. Everything is debuffed anyway, though. I'm gonna need two more flushes to make this happen, though. Am I gonna be able to do that? Oh, it's so hard to tell which cards have already been played. I think I'm dead here. I might have to play high card with this ace and these two. Let's try these and see what happens. Okay, I did get high card. I did get the ace bonus. All right, so now will my last flush work? Please, God. So this is the reason why I often like to play two suits in my... Oh, and I was just barely off. Ah, oh, I was so close. But anyway, that is kind of the gist of this game. You can make it into something utterly horrific in your deck. So let's try a new run. And we'll try to stick with two suits this time because I, I think I went a little too hard into that. We'll stick with the yellow deck. Um, but that's basically the gist of it. I do feel as though that run was representative of, like, how wacky this game can get. So let's just stick with that. I'll be foregoing my... We're in a new run here. Deck is back to normal. Everything has been reset. Small blind. Uh, initial cards and booster packs in the next shop are free. That is pretty good, man. I think that's worth just skipping that... Uh, run four. Plus three hand size next round. I don't think I really need that, so let's play this one. Okay, so forget everything you know about hearts. The deck is back to normal. So, But I'm still going for flushes because I find that if you don't get something that just whittles your whole deck down to aces right from the beginning, flushes are a pretty good strategy. I'm thinking spades is looking pretty good, or we could... Yeah, let's go for spades. All right, we'll just discard everything else. Show me the spades. Nope, not getting it again. Unlucky. Okay. And I get very unlucky again. Uh, here we go, just ignoring everything else that I get. Yeah, I literally have to just discard the entire hand again. And uh, Okay, here we go. Finally, our first flush. But is that going to be enough? 
The point is we're going to get over with only two hands. Okay, so two tens, that's a pair. And actually, we got a full house here. That's not bad. Okay, full house. Decent, decent. I guess we could just t change every card in the deck to a 10 and a 4. Make use of that 10 4 walk. There's a card that, like, rewards you for everything being a 10 and a 4. 10 4. Face cards give extra one scored. $5 if three or more face cards. This I find counterintuitive. Oh, wait, they're all free, though. Okay, I guess I'm just buying everything for free. Okay. We have to go along with it. We're forced to. Planet cards appear two times more frequently in the shop. We, Again, we do need those planets. But let's take... Ooh, tarot cards. Ooh, double our money. Okay, we're rich already. Yeah. Show me that. $42 already. <laughs> we're just gonna play, like, the banker method. Uh, wild card? Although, if we can get something polychrome, it's crazy. So I'm willing to take Wheel of Fortune just for the chance that it will do something once. Maybe better once we've got a little bit of money. Uh, tarot. Three selected cards to clubs. A lucky card or glass card. Uh, value of all the jokers. Hmm. Or we get another Wheel of Fortune. I think let's change some things to clubs. So we've got three hearts. Let's get rid of hearts this time around. So let's change all of our high value uh, hearts cards into clubs. So we will be playing, like, clubs and probably diamonds this time. Yeah, clubs and diamonds we're going to rely on. I like to differentiate, like, one in black and one in red just so that it's visually a little bit easier to see. Planet cards appear two times more frequently in the shop. Now, planet cards are good, so I'll take that. Although we, we want it to be the particular planets that we need, so we'll save some for interest. Heart cards are debuffed anyway, so that's good that we were getting rid of them. And we already have a flush in clubs. I could try to finagle this one way. And I could try to earn five dollars. Uh, let's just see what we get with this. There's quite a lot of... Okay, here we go. Yeah, 900, so I already won. So I didn't really make use of that joker, but whatever. We already have a lot of money, and I think this is going to carry us very hard in this run. So we have five dollars max that we could earn, but there are cards that... Uh, raise this number. Playing cards can be purchased from the shop. I'm not crazy about that, so I'm just going to avoid it. Create two random tarot cards. Or tarot cards, tarot cards, tarot cards. Uh, planets would be useful. I think this guy is good, though. Get two random tarot cards. Uh, ooh, what do we do here? This is tricky. I think... We use High Priestess just because that's going to give us a planet. Oh, we got really lucky with Jupiter again. I swear to God, I've, I've filmed this video like 20 takes. Ooh, and we can use Jupiter again to make the flush even more powerful. Okay, now this is going to be the best run of all time. Uh, let's just make our planet pack even more powerful. I've got 42. Yeah, you know, I mean, I'm earning interest only up to 25 gold, so I might as well use the excess. Bonus cards, multi cards. Eh, this is fine, but whatever. Right, we have tons of clubs here. So let's upgrade our clubs to multi cards and bonus cards. Are both going to be useful? Uh, I will make these into these two. Will become yeah, molt cards. I think molt is going to be more useful later on. I'll take that. All right, and then I will take another Celestial pack. Jupiter again. We got very lucky, but it was a large one. Now, there are some things where you can guarantee, like the telescope voucher that we got the last time. We don't have it this time, but it is still useful. And I don't like this voucher. Okay, uh, moving along. Uh, three of a kind? Nope, let's not even do it. Let's just save our money. What does this give me? Shop has a negative... Ooh, negative Joker is quite good. But we don't even have that many Jokers to begin with. And I want to keep letting the uh, money compound and earn interest. So we have... Three... Uh, what do we have mostly? Clubs, we said, right? 
Let's just get rid of everything that's not clubs, and we'll probably get a lot of clubs. Oh, and we did earn $5 right there. I didn't even realize that. I forgot about that. Amazing, amazing. Uh, we have only four clubs. So we'll do that. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, God. We're already getting, like, fire before we even... That's how you can tell you're probably going to win the round. I'm not sure. Does that automatically let you know you'll win the round if you... Get fire, but either way, fire is good here. It is definitely a good thing. I seem to get it repeatedly when I win the round. This is good if we want to play four of a kind with different suits, which can be super awesome, but we are not really playing like that. Uh, to pair, these aren't, this shop is kind of terrible, to be honest with you. We could reroll. I think I want to reroll just because I don't want to die early on. This is also terrible. I will reroll once more, and that was a total waste, but I will take this abstract joker just as a consolation prize. And you know what? This is worth only three, so I'll just use it. Whatever. I passed it up earlier, but I'll take it. Besides, I'm getting money only up to the first 25, right? So I get a plus nine molt here. I think let's just get rid of all of this. Now we're, we're basically gunning for clubs this time. Five, play hand. Not bad, okay. This is why I try to aim for the first hand, like win the whole round. But for right now, we still need to get rid of one other suit. We want it like a 50-50 split between two, so that we aren't so one-sided. Hmm, extra joker would be quite good. Two of five planet cards, that'll probably get us another uh, Jupiter. Although, the, it's really in the Jokers that this game lies. All right, yeah, let's get another Joker. It is a mega buffoon pack. Ooh, one in four chance to upgrade level of played Poker Hand. That is pretty sweet because we keep using flushes, so we might keep upgrading the uh, the Jupiter level. Here, Planet Card if played hand contains two or more eights. So yeah, some cards that, or some strategies that revolve around a specific number or... Uh, what is this one? Earn eight dollars if played hand triggers the boss blind ability. That's kind of a high risk, high reward here, I feel. Is that for the whole run? Hang on a second. So this is decreased level of each played poker hand. So we're going to need to get, uh, quite a lot of high- We're going to need to get a very high level if we want to survive this. I think Space Joker is pretty awesome here, so we'll take that. Straight. We could just keep leveling up all the planets so that we have some insurance if we don't get the hands we want. Two of five planet cards to be used immediately. I'm thinking that's worth it. Just keep leveling me up, baby. All right, yeah, we're already at level five now, or we will be with our flush. What next? Straight flush, just because we're already going for flushes to begin with. Full house is also not bad. Let's go for the straight flush, though. If you get one good hand, it's worth it in this game, man. 28, I'll keep the rest for interest and go to the next round. Oh, I guess I could have taken Saturn, whatever we... Doesn't really matter. Decrease level of played poker hand. I don't love that. Does it actually permanently decrease it? Or is it just for this match? That is no good. Hmm. Do we have a full house here, though, to begin with? Hmm, what have we got going for us? So we've got mostly clubs and diamonds this time. I'm gonna have to play it anyway, though. I mean, I do have a one in four chance of continuing to upgrade it, so it's not like it's that bad a thing. We'll discard those. Uh, not good again. Get rid of these. I need clubs, yeah, I need them. I want to win this in one hand because I don't want to keep decreasing the level of it. Okay, I'll take that for one more discard in reserve. All right, so we did level up as we leveled down. That was kind of lucky because of the space joker, and that got us through the boss fight. All right, praise Zeus. We have made it. Score at least 1,600. I don't know, who is the Greek god of gambling? Maybe not Zeus. Celestial packs always contain uh, the planet card of the most played poker hand, so now we're always going to get Jupiter every single time we do this. That is pretty sweet, and we're leveling up. Oh no, that was in my last run. I get confused between runs. Neptune, I'll take for the three. That's pretty good. Uh, what else have we got here? Standard pack, standard pack. We gotta kinda 
trim this deck more, though. Mars, four of a kind. I'll take it just because it gets me evenly back to 25. All right, next round. So what do we got this time? Cards drawn face down after each hand played. Okay, so we really need to play one good hand, which is more or less our play style already. So that doesn't make a huge difference for this boss. Again, get rid of everything except for clubs. I'm thinking, unless if we already have a full house in the first hand or something. Yeah, we're not looking hard enough, but whatever, discard those. And actually, could we get... We can't really get a straight here. Some stuff just jumps out at me. All right, whatever. Keep showing me the clubs. Four, five. Not bad. A flush worth five. Ooh, and we leveled up again. This is super sweet. Okay, good. Nice. Nice. Man, this space joker is really coming in clutch. Now, there are cards that can double these these chances, so instead of one in four, we get like a 50% chance. Two in four. Uh, let's see, one times molt for each empty joker slot. Ooh, that's pretty good if we're low on him, but I feel like it's kind of counterintuitive. Uh, this faceless joker is getting kind of weak though too, like less relevant. First off, let's just open up another jumbo celestial pack to get yet another Jupiter level. Now we're at level seven. Uh, this is getting really good. Tarot cards. Yeah, we got to slim our deck, man. Let's do this. Hopefully, I'll get something. Creates a random joker card. It converts to diamonds. All right, we could convert these hearts to diamonds, I suppose. And the spades to diamonds, because we won't be using those either. That's all we got, though. All right, I will take that, because I, I got to just focus on keeping the deck... Like, what I... Get the cards I need to draw, you know? One free reroll per shop. That's not too bad. Uh, or one... Ah, this is so good, though. Played face cards, give plus four molt. I think multiplying the molt eventually becomes super OP. But I'm afraid, like, what if we don't have enough additive power before we go into it? You know what I'm saying? Because these two are kind of contradictory, so we don't want them both in our hand. I'll just take the free reroll. That's good. And then do we have 22? We could sell this for two, but it won't give us more interest. Okay, I'll reroll. Uh, club suit gives plus four molt when scored. That is quite good, because we are relying very much on clubs anyway to begin with clubs and diamonds we could do that instead of this sell that for two and then yeah i'll take that just give give me higher score now now i'm trying to get through the rest of the game all right we will go to the next round uh polychrome joker in the next shop for this but i think i need to just earn more money interest here uh let's see get rid of uh spades that will leave only i'm okay with just diamonds yep, let's do it one, two, three, four. Oh, nope, I didn't get it. All right. Uh, yeah, we got to get rid of these. Hope for... D cross your fingers and hope for diamonds. One, two, three, four, five. I have had a lot of runs where just, I was like one card off or I just got very unlucky in that way. Yeah, but again, getting it like kind of sweeping with one hand in most of these still. So GG, easy. You know, it is what it is. Plus one molt per tarot card used this run. That is quite good because I do like using tarot cards. That's already giving us plus eight on multiplier. Uh, the banana has a chance of being destroyed, so I, I don't feel great about that. The smiley face is getting slightly less powerful. So I think I'm going to sell that here. We will take the fortune teller because that is going to start ramping up in power as we use more tarot cards. Uh, celestial pack. I think we just take every single celestial pack every single time, but let's see what we get from this. Ooh, opening booster packs creates tarot cards, which creates more, uh, synergy here. I think... Ooh, this is gonna start to get weaker. I think we sell this Joker, I think we buy this one, and I think we get the Celestial Pack after that, because then we might create a lot of tarot cards and a lot of multipliers. 
This is fantastic because then this creates tarot cards and tarot cards create more tarot cards and so on and so forth. But we have only a one in two chance that so we didn't get it that time, unfortunately. All right, next round. Fish. Uh, cards are drawn ha uh, face down after each hand is played. Oh, we almost had a full house here. But just seeing as we've powered up our flush so much already to level eight, look at how strong it is. Even better than a straight flush already. Uh, let's just keep aiming for now we can come to the point where we just always force flushes. Yep, so this is what the game more or less turns into. We will discard those. And here we go. Oh, amazing. We got a flush. Nearly a royal one. The numbers are quivering with anticipation. Level 9 already. This thing is going to carry us the entire game. This Space Joker, we just got so lucky with the RNG from it to start that it's going to keep snowballing. I almost feel like I should play weaker hands just to get more chances at flushes. Uh, one of five playing cards to add to the deck. Minus one anti, minus one hand per end. I don't like that. I just don't want to get one fewer hand. Although I guess I don't really play fewer hands. I guess it just makes the game easier. Yeah, we'll go for a dub. You know what? Why not? I'll take that. All right. So what are uh, what are our vouchers now? We've got minus one anti minus. One. I don't really see where it came into play though. I guess everything's gonna be easier here. All right. Uh, let's see. Eighteen Pluto high card. Yeah, you know, give me Pluto in case if I need to use it, just for insurance. I want that high card scoring slightly better. All right. Again, now we just weed out. And it's pretty straightforward here. We're just going to steamroll the rest of the game. Three, four. Got only four. I'm probably going to miss a couple of hands, but whatever. I can live with it. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, see, we're already going to win hardly with you, without even trying, like, at all. Here we go. And will we get the level up? We didn't get it at that time. But look at how much we're scoring now. This is what you want to be doing, and I've found that a lot of games, like, if you're not super strong in them, uh, you, you have a very good chance of dying in them. So, you know, you kind of either steamroll the whole game or it just doesn't go well. Convert to hearts. We don't even want hearts this time, so that's useless. Uh, plus 80 chips if it contains a flush. Well, we are doing that. You know, I guess more generally than clubs, we are kind of playing flushes here. So let's get rid of this. Yeah, I'll take 80 more chips. That's not bad. So let's sell this joker. And then we will buy this one. And then we'll buy another celestial pack to level up Jupiter yet even more. Is there a max level? I genuinely don't know. Can we get to... Is level 10 the max? Double digits. How could you go any further than that, man? Alright, we'll go to the next round. So far, you haven't created an... Can you please create some tarot cards? Very dependent on RNG here in some ways. Alright, uh, yet again, I will weed these out of my deck. You know, I have a lot of diamonds here, but... Mm, I mean, I'm still so likely to draw clubs that I'll just do it anyway. Oh god, and I just drew diamonds. Just like I said I wouldn't do. Oh, the tragedy. How many diamonds do I... Oh man, now this is so likely though, still. And these are high-value clubs, man. I don't want to give these up. One, two, three, four, five. Play hand. How could you not play a flush? It's at level 10. Now a level 11. Okay, we can go into the multiple double digits. Good. Oh god, now we're gonna- okay, yeah, this is gonna be a broken, overpowered run. Alright, 4200. Interest, a little bit of interest, might not hurt to collect some- What is this? Retrigger first played card used in scoring. This is interesting, a ballot. Do I want that more than the free reroll? It's kinda cool, but it is common. Uh yeah, I feel like it's, I feel like there are better. There are some jokers that are just stupid that I'll keep waiting out for. I mean, it is good, but there are some crazier things. Okay, here we go. Walkie-talkie. I think I mentioned that before. Yeah, multipliers and chips for tens or fours. Sell value of all. Uh, this is not that good. Okay, I will take. 
Yeah, now I need to slim down the deck. I'm still not getting the cards I need. 11 gold. Increase the rank of the cards. Creates a random joker. Nothing that great here. I'll just take the money. Our flush level is just so overpowered that it's carrying us throughout this whole thing. Start with zero discards. That's not what I wanted, because I've been heavily reliant upon discards. So what we're going to do this time is just play all the cards that aren't clubs and hope that we get clubs. So I got a pair. Terrible score. Terrible, terrible score. Oh no. One, two, three, four. Okay, this is not too great because we didn't get cl four clubs this time and we're so reliant upon flushes. Please give me a club in the next hand or I may be dead because I've... Now I'm using high card and that's not so great. Okay, and we got clubs. The playthrough can continue. But that's what I mean. Like, this run seemed super overpowered, but you can hit one boss battle where something just goes slightly awry and you miss out on your entire uh, run strategy. So there is that. Although I find that leaning into one thing tends to be stronger. Okay, rerolls cost two less. We can get a lot of rerolls in this if we do this right. I think I will take that just because I like having tons of rerolls. It just gives us great choice. Reroll surplus. Okay, I don't really like either of these. Stone card, first play, place, uh, face card gives times two, multiple, and scored. You know, I think since rerolls are cheap now, we might start to wean ourselves off of this, but uh, I'll leave him there for now. I'll just take two more celestial packs to continue upgrading my Jupiter. <laughs> um, like, it's a little unoriginal, but yeah. They do become very powerful like this. Ooh, we got a sun there. Ah, nice. Although I don't really need a sun. I'm trying to get rid of the hearts anyway. Um, hmm. I guess we could limit ourselves to three suits if we wanted to. Hmm. Uh, I think I need to sell this. And I think enhance one card into a steel card. We'll see if we need that at any time. Otherwise, let's go to the next round. What do we got if we skip? Uh, gives $1 per hand played this round. So that would be $14. But, you know, if we don't do it, then we might not get a chance to just upgrade all this stuff. Will we make $14 in this? Yeah, we'll make five plus another three. I, I do want another shop opportunity, though. A shop opportunity. What will they think of next? Let's get rid of all of these. Maybe leave that in there. Dis actually, there we go. Discard those in case if we get all diamonds. One, two, three, four. Uh, still just so much more likely to draw clubs, though. Hmm. Three, four, five. Yeah, just show me the clubs. Show me the clubs, baby. One, two, three, four, five. And then let's change this King of Diamonds since we kind of keep some diamonds around. You know, I will... You, actually, or the lower value clubs cards, since we tend to keep them in hand just in case as backup, we will use Chariot on this. So this makes it into a steel card. So if this stays in the hand, we get more of a multiplier. And we get more of a multiplier because we just used another tarot card. Play that hand. We're going to annihilate this round. 259 times... Man, I'm going to have to get out my calculator. I'm so excited. I don't know why this game makes me so excited for, like, increasing numbers. Oh my gosh, what will the number do next? Maybe it will increase again. Played face cards have one in two chance to give two dollars when scored. There are some crazy... De There's, like, another card that gives us double interest, though. Two of five playing cards to add to the deck. Let's re-roll these. I don't like them. Played aces give... Plus 20 chips and plus 4 malt one scored. We are getting more aces. Or we have... Oh no, we have still 4. Hmm. Eh. <laughs> you know, I think we take this because that is going to help us with our score. We sell this for 2. We buy this. I don't really like to skip booster packs. Uh, it just feels inefficient. She's one of five playing cards. Yeah, I'll take this. Because I have a chance of getting another tarot card, you know? Show it to me. All right, and I did get a tarot card. Great. Uh, let's see. Creates a tarot card when discarded. Yeah, just give me more tarot cards. It's another ace. Unfortunately, it's glass, but whatever. It'll be good until it's not good. 
And we will save Hanged Man for probably getting rid of more of these spades. And hearts. Next round. Okay, cool. What do we get if we skip? Shop has a rare joker. Now, rare jokers can be stupid powerful. No repeat hand types this round. We'll probably win in the first hand this one, though. Ooh, do I want a rare joker? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go big or go home. Let's try for the rare joker. Okay, now we'll go to the eye. Yeah, let's give this a shot. Okay, so great. We got these two in our first hand. I can get rid of these hearts. And spades, yeah. I have to be very careful in this game, though. One misclick can totally destroy the entire run. I think we just go for one really good hand of clubs this boss battle, because we can't repeat, and that is a little dangerous. Although that's pretty much what we've been doing the whole time anyway, so... What is this? Okay, good. Uh, this hand is already starting to look decent. This card does. Okay, we're going to have something, definitely. Two, three... I don't want to give up my definite flush here. So I will just discard these. Okay, uh, no repeat hand types, but these still aren't very good clubs. I think I'm just going to play these three, because this is going to be high card. I won't care about playing high card again. So let's just get rid of these cards and hope that we get better club cards. Because we aren't, we aren't going to have much of another opportunity. Right? Okay, only 336. Oh, okay, this is a much better hand. I will probably just take that. Oops. Oh, it's, I got to see what I told you. I get so close to accidentally clicking the wrong thing right here. And that was very dangerous. We've got two hands left, though. Mm, I don't really want to play just the five. Is that really going to give me enough hand turnover? One, two, three, four, five. And we'll play the five and the two in the hopes of getting a slightly higher clubs card. Okay, play that because the next one is going to be... Oh, it wasn't even allowed. I didn't even get anything for it. Never mind. Well, whatever. All right, try this flush and see where that gets me. Leveled up my flush again. Oh, gosh, this is getting really high. Nice. Okay, yeah, we easily got it. Although that was scary there for a second. 12000 we get $5 for that. Five interest, 10 not bad. And now we get a rare Joker. Copies ability of the Joker to the right. Ooh, this can be crazy. And we got another Jupiter. I say that we just buy and use this, first off. Always buy Jupiter. This is going to get to be less powerful. Um, flush, flush. Fortune Teller does scale up. This is going to get kind of crazy what I'm about to do here. What if we keep upgrading our chance to tarot card used in the run? Um, I know these two synergize, but the tarot cards themselves are just kind of great. And this starts to become less powerful. I will sell this. I will buy this. This is pretty good. This is going to be useful when we get some crazy jokers. What is this? Plus one consumable slot. That is useful. Um, now, this is going to give us a better chance to upgrade the hand, but we're going to put this one here so that we have a one in two one in two chances to create tarot cards when we open a booster pack. So let's go ahead and just buy another consumable slot because we might need this for what we're about to do. Yes, we're going to spend a lot of money right here. But we will open up a Spectral Pack, and we might even get two Tarot Cards? No, we didn't get two Tarot Cards. Unlucky, but whatever. Add a Blue Seal. Blue Seal is a uh, Planet Card. Yeah, I don't really like Planet Cards, though. Or random Planet Cards. One random card. Uh, uh, so many random card destroys. Um, we don't have any clubs in this hand, though, so that would be fine. Add enhanced aces, add enhanced face cards, add enhanced numbered cards, or add a blue seal. I'm thinking... We destroy one random and add enhanced aces is pretty good, especially with Scholar. Okay, yep. I'll take that. Oh, I destroyed a good one. Whatever. Uh, that's decent. Do I just want to save the money here? 
Maybe. Yeah, let's keep saving the money because I think there's stronger stuff we could do. Okay, then we'll put this... That was the ability of the Joker to the right. Compatible. Okay, so we have another chance of continuing to level up Jupiter. Uh, I'm fine with paying. Let's just do this one out. I'm okay with paying. All right, now we've got... F already we've got a flush in our first hand. Nice. I do like to take that when it's available. And now we're just sweeping this whole run, dude. Fantastic. All right, three, five, six, seven. Yeah, we kind of lost our interest there, but it was worth it. Uh, take another Celestial Pack whenever it's available. Uh, we don't forget to change this here, though, too, so that we get the tarot card. Maybe two tarot cards? Okay, one of them got it. Uh, upgrades one card into a Steel card. <laughs> Level 15 on Jupiter again. All right, and then I guess we'll wait. We'll probably change, like, a hard into a steel card because we'll keep it in hand. Or, again, a low-value other card. Uh, we have another round. Yeah, let's keep going. So, more or less from here, it, it's going to stay the same. Ooh, wait a second. I want to change you into a club. We'll see what we upgrade into a into a steel card at the end of this. Let's just discard these. Uh, I have two ace of spades in this deck, man. What do I do with these? I do have four of a kind on Jax, but look what this is going to give me. Only at level two still. So we haven't focused on this one, so it's just made it way weaker. Oh, we got to change these again too. Uh, just keep discarding those. You know how it works more or less at this point. Let's just see if we can get that, like crazy finale that we've been waiting for. Um, I think I will upgrade this to a steel card because it is a relatively low value club card that I sometimes might keep in my hand. That's fine. One, two, three, four. Okay, there we go. Play hand. Because I tend to play the higher value clubs cards because they just score more. Anyway. It'd be better if that were like a two or a three, but whatever. Still way outscoring the run, though. See how much stronger I am this run than I was in the last one? In the last run, it was just horrible. Okay, we have a punch card. <laughs> Times four molt every six hands played. Five remaining. Oh, that's how many punches we can still get. <laughs> it's, like, so goofy. Um, okay, whatever. Times four molt, though? That's good. I mean, hallucination is great, don't get me wrong, but it's not really benefiting us in any particular round. We're getting to anti-5 here now. I feel like we should just get Joker's Deli loyalty card. Yeah, let's just buy that. That's going to benefit us more for the rest of the run. Okay, uh, times 4 mult. So what is that giving us right now? Every six hands played. What? I guess that's 3... I'm gonna have to just like watch what it does. I may have screwed myself over, but hopefully not. Okay, and oh, I should have bought these before I bought it, but whatever. All right, I will take more tarot cards because I still need to cut spades from this deck. Let's see what we get. Uh, three selected cards to diamonds or destroys two selected cards. I will take more diamonds in case if we get totally screwed here. Don't just destroy. Let's go ahead and change one, two, and three to diamonds. Okay, decent. So now we're all in clubs and diamonds. Uh, and I will take one more tarot card just to keep my interest at 10. Moon will convert things into clubs. And what do you know? Uh, oh, this is a nice wheel of fortune, but still, it's so chancy. You know, there is one card if you could get it two and four. That would be nice, but not happening for right now. So, oh, well. I will change these three, because I like the higher cards, into clubs. Yeah. But like I said, mixing up two suits could be disastrous for the entire run. Face cards are debuffed. Okay, that's no good, but whatever. We weren't so highly dependent on them. Okay, we'll create a tarot card if we discard this. I say we just discard these. There's quite a lot I want to discard in this hand. Uh... You know, I don't care about this tarot card right now. I just think I want to play this because this is going to be a tough 
hand to win at. Let's get rid of these. Discard those. Show me the clubs. Show me the clubs. One, two, three, four. I will add the king to this hand just to make it a flush so that I don't have to use up all my discards. I might need a diamond hand. Please don't be destroyed. Good. It wasn't destroyed. Okay, we're going to win this one. Phew. I do get tense, man. It could all be over in a second. Satisfies that gambler's itch. Playing cards can be purchased from the shop. Again, don't want it. Mm. Oh, I didn't watch that. I was too scared. Alright, give me Jupiter again. S solo Jupiter for the entire game. Level 17. <laughs> what is it at now? 15 times 2... 290 times 38. But if you can figure out how to get straight flushes, that's pretty OP. Or a royal flush. Or five of a kind. Hmm. Nothing is worth three. I want to start collecting some interest again. Let's get to the next round. Defeating the boss blind gain $15. I think let's just do it. One, two, three, four, five. Discard these. Probably get some clubs. One, two, three. Jeez, look at this, man. All right, so let's just observe this. I want to see what kind of multiplier we're getting. Level up. So what kind of multiplier is this giving me? Are we getting anything? Every six hands played. Oh, we didn't actually score up all the way there. Hmm. Even though we leveled up our flush. So, again, everything is just so lopsided in this deck. <laughs> okay, just discard all of these. Just hope for more clubs again. Mm, okay, we do have a potential play right here. Although I didn't score as high as I thought I would here. Let me just play these. Play that hand. The numbers are quivering with excitement. Our flush is leveled up to level 19. <laughs> Probably because we don't play so many hands with this deck. This isn't going to get as good. I'm now starting to see. Uh, this thing is just broken. 76,000 when we needed only 20. Okay, I'll take a spectral pack. Always, Always worth the while. Create a copy of a random joker. Destroy no, don't want to destroy all jokers. Uh, destroys five random cards in hand. Gain $20. This could really screw me over, but I have a one, two. Most of these cards are good that I have. But gaining $20, nah, I don't think it's worth it. Not worth it. Nope. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Uh, gain three dollars for every discarded ten. Still not worth it. Yeah, I mean we're pretty much set in stone here. We're at anti six, so we have to two cut. Nope, don't care about that. Just continue and get rid of every. You know the strategy here. Now we will just continue this, and let's just see what we can get. That's also in my hand. Cool. This gives me like two good opportunities at a at a club's flush each time I play. One remaining. Oh, that graphic doesn't seem to change. I thought it would show, like, which ones I had done. Can we get a negative joker here, man? I will take the jumbo celestial pack. Just continue making this more and more stupid. Level 20. Can we go further? How far can we go? <laughs> hmm, next round. Serpent, after player discard, always draw three cards. Okay, so uh, instead of five, this is going to be a little bit more tricky here. So discarding three might make sense this time around. Let's get rid of the hearts and the clubs. I mean spades. Discard those. Mm, this is a good hand, but... Actually, we do have a play right here. All right, I'll do this. That is a flush. All right, I'll take it. It's amazing that this thing hasn't been destroyed yet. It hasn't. Awesome. Okay, good. I don't want to lose that glass card. It is very good. Although I've not discarded it as much as I wanted to. 
It's just been there at opportune moments. Planet cards in your consumable area give... Oh, God. If I could get more copies of Jupiter. <laughs> just everything is so reliant on that. No, well. Nothing that great in this time. We are on anti-7, though. Anti-7, yeah. Hmm... Lots of vouchers here. What is our going to be our final thing? No, we don't even know what the boss is here. Feeling like we just skipped this one. This isn't going to help me that much right now. Let's just continue. Yeah. I mean, we've almost weeded out our deck. This is looking to be a very good playthrough. Cards played previously in this anti are debuffed. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, so we want to not play our club strategy here. So if we can play diamonds... Diamond flushes, that's going to be for the best. Just because we want to be able to play club flushes again here. So we will do that. This is active. Good. Okay, so we will aim for diamond flushes now. I want to keep that for the malt discard. Give me diamonds now. Cool, we can discard this. And this. And we have five. Discard these again. Okay, cool, we did create devil. Enhances one selected card into a gold card. Uh, I will make this into a gold card. Use that. Cool, because we're going to have it. Assuming that we win this one, we are going to get a good multiplier here, and let's play that. So for the final round, we won't be able to play Diamond Flushes, but we'll play Diamond Flushes up until we get to that point. Easy. Wow. That was good. Score at least 35,000. One interest. Ooh, Jupiter again. Uh, straight flush. We haven't been getting straight flushes. I'm sorry, we're not going to get to use this. It's just so uncommon to create those. We will do that. Flush level 23. <laughs> and it's going to be soon to be 24. This spaceman upgrade has been huge. It's too bad we didn't get negative jokers, though. We just didn't get any polychrome or any of that this time around. I guess I could re-roll. Voucher. Mm, nah. I also don't want to make the deck too big either. I mean, we've got it back up to 52. This is a good-looking deck, though, man. Hmm. Yep, I want to... Mm, yeah, I want to save my money. There we go. Okay, if we skip, we upgrade Flush House by three levels. Yeah, you know, that's actually going to be an advantage, because then we don't have to play as many cards this run, and then we'll get our... F oh, wait, Flush House. Oh. No, Flush House is actually a different type of thing. Yeah, it's when it's a Flush and they're all the same card. Do we even have enough cards to reliably get that? Could just get all aces. That's five of a kind Flush. Just What did I just say there? Six! We have six of them. Uh, but we just have so many cards that are the club suit, too. I think I will do it, but I'll just go for diamond flushes again. This is not a good opening hand. Discard all that, yeah. If I die here, I will be sad. Alright, not bad. Ah! Oh, stone card. Uh, plus 50 chips, no suitor rank. Okay, so we could do this for our... This is just a weird thing. I mean, I think that there are some strategies that rely solely on, like, stones. But I have not used them. 50 chips, no suitor rank. Um, yeah, it just, it's just weird. I'm just going to sell that. I mean, I could do it to the hearts, but I would discard the heart anyway, so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Do we have more diamonds in case if I need them? Yeah, we could potentially draw another diamond flush. Although I kind of want to make sure that I have good diamond cards here. Let's get rid of these two. Because 52,000 is a lot to be asking for. Okay, cool. That was a bit of a help. One, two, three, four, five. And that keeps gold in it. Nice. 380 times 50. And we've upgraded the flush even more. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, wait. I think loyalty card is played only every sixth hand. I don't really like that as much as I thought I did. 
Oh no, we have run ourselves into the situation where we need to play some of our clubs. This is horrible. Oh no. Um, one, two, three, four. Uh, this is not good. This is not what I wanted. No. Now we have to play a pair. We may have totally screwed ourselves here. Um, do I have any way out of this? Jack, oh, one, two, three, four. You know, I think we're just going to have to do... This is going to be kind of dirty right here, but... I'm going to be in trouble next round. Whatever. Let's try it. We probably should have skipped. High card. Okay, we'll play some of our kind of lower cost clubs. Three, four, five, so that we can save that king. Or the plus four molt is actually better. We'll save that. Or we could play the steel. Yeah, you know, we'll play the steel cards just so that we can save those in our hand for the next time. Play hand. I'm just going to do it like this so that we can save the high value cards. Oh no! I accidentally saw it as a club when it was a spade. <laughs> I thought that was a club. It was a spade. Oh no. Uh, anyway, that is kind of classic. Anyway, I've tried to record this game like... 15 times, but I always die for something. I wanted to get a good run in here, but I, I do feel like that is a pretty good overview of the game. It just kind of keeps going on like that, like I showed, so I, I feel like that is justified. Permanently gain plus one discard per round. Ooh, that's good. Some of the, yeah, so this is where the kind of roguelike meets the roguelite. I've unlocked a lot of cool things, and you do have a lot of uh, collection pieces that you get that make the run a, a little bit easier, but also you still start from the same uh, or origin point. Like I said, I think I've probably played, I don't know, maybe 25, 30 runs of this game, and I've run, I've won only two of them. It is hard, but it, it is, it has a lot in common with real poker. I used to, um, actually, I still know him. Uh, a guy I know played poker for a living, and it, like, it is, it is something you can get better at. So it's kind of cool if, if you have that, uh, draw, plus also the deck builder element to it. Um, I think it's pretty sweet, and uh, I am sad that I died, but I, I do feel like it was a pretty good overview of the game. Very, very addicting. Actually, let me just mouse over here. How many hours do I have? I already have 12 hours on it. It's been only two days. I thought I'd sit down with it for like an hour, but I, I do recommend this game. It is very fun.